exactly. So where do you see the opportunities for the general consumer to use this technology? Let's start with you, John. Uh, I mean, uh, the, the most obvious right now is content creation. Um, uh, the uh, ability to write uh, good content has gone from, you know, kind of good to absolutely amazing. There's like, you know, book contests that are being won by completely written AI stories. So um, over the, you know, the, the exponential rate of growth in this industry is uh, very, very rapid. And uh, content creation and generation is uh, extremely easy to do, right? And so what we found when it comes to writing, you know, uh, ad copy, uh, blog posts, uh, uh, on-page copy, those kind of things, a lot of copywriting, easy to do. Uh, generating images, extremely easy to do. So I think, right, if you're just getting started, write something with it and see how well it will help you uh, to uh, formulate those thoughts. Me, I'm not a great writer. I suck at writing. Matter of fact, that right there, that's my best-selling book, right? But if you look on the cover, it's got a ghostwriter, right? It's not even a ghostwriter because I put her name on the cover, right? <laughs> so. The deal is, you know, people are like, well, you know, I'm not going to use it to help me write. I'm like, what, do you really think people write their own books? No, no, they don't, especially business people. Hardly none of us write our own books. You know, we get, a, we get somebody else to write with us that are great at writing. ChatGPT is great at writing. It will help you organize your thoughts and then put that thing back out so that you can market to your audience in a very particular way. It has a way of being able to understand what are the triggers, the key triggers that are good for marketing. So you can use that to help, um, what would I say? I would, I would say to, to help perfect your writing inside of uh, your marketing and advertising. Start there. Yeah. Now, besides ChatGPT, before we get to Chi-Chi, what other AI software do you use, John? Is it Chat? Because uh, you had mentioned maybe Copilot. Um, I do what use is Copilot. Mm -hmm. Now, is that specifically for images? No, no. Copilot is uh, basically Copilot is Microsoft's version of ChatGPT because Microsoft actually owns forty nine percent of the people that make ChatGPT. And part of that, you know, uh, uh, relationship was they were going to be able to kind of co-brand a, a version of ChatGPT. And so they've created Copilot. And what you can do, you know, it's I've moved from Google's browser to Microsoft Edge. And so Microsoft Edge has uh, AI built into it so that you can kind of like write in one side of the screen and then get access to Copilot, which is basically ChatGPT4 on the right-hand side of the screen. So you can query that, use some of that content back and forth. Yes, it does images as well, but that's not all it does. Mm -hmm. It pretty much is full access to ChatGPT4 without paying for it. Okay. All right. How about you, Chi Chi? Um, I, I like it in the pro in the form of streamlining processes. Once again, as a solopreneur, um, being able to have certain things in place so that it runs quicker automation. And I'm starting to see, um, that in a lot of my applications with zoom, with Canva and, and things of that nature. So, um, and even helping with human error is also useful. So that saves time and energy and things of that nature. Um, and I use OpenAI um, for market research as well. May not be as up to date, but kind of gives me a starting point, kind of a direction in which to go. But as always, like anything, please do your due diligence and fact check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, in the um, current issue of the Envoy, and one of the things, because um, like John said, you can create images with this. I mean, this was the cover of the magazine. This is completely through AI. I use Microsoft Image Creator 
um, and just put in a specific prompt and said, and this is one of the images that came out. Um, so I absolutely loved it. And so there are some wonderful things that you can create in there. And um, I'm starting to use chat GPT, um, like I said, for marketing as well too. Mm -hmm. um, and just kind of perfecting some of my copy. I even had it uh, write an article that I published in the magazine about how artists can use um, AI to um, market and create their own work. Um, but it does get into the copyright issues um, in there. But I do say in the article, this is written by chat GPT with specific prompts and you should never ever pass it off as human generated content because you want to make sure that people understand there could be inaccuracies. It's not always going to be spot on, um, but it's a great way to get started with writing. And like, like you said, John, to perfect it and make sure it's done right. So thank you both again for joining me today and allowing me to moderate and share your <laughs> wisdom and knowledge. And I look forward to talking with you both again soon. Sounds great. Thanks, Yvette. Thanks, John. Thank you. <laughs>